Doing a little test fit. Uh, everything's good. Oh. Except for we only got about 11 of these guys and we need 20 of them, so. All right, what's up guys? So, um, here it is, as you can probably tell. Um, just about almost done. I did have to go to the hardware store because we didn't get enough washers to kind of have them in the center here. So I, I do want to play with these and make sure since there's lock uh, washers or uh, lock nuts on here, <clears throat> excuse me, that there's enough play in there so it's not binding up. Um, even though this jack is a two ton jack and would power through it no matter what, I just want to clean it up. One thing I did do here, right, is, uh, well, I'm just going to take that guy off. I kind of left it there on purpose for the video. It's a little hot. So that bolt was obviously too big and barely couldn't get out because it was just going to hit this bracket. Um, the whole idea for that is once the hole is lined up, then your bolt's going to put it up against here and just get rid of any of the play. Um, the problem is that the bolt is just too big. I tried it several ways, then I installed it and it still didn't work. And I wasn't going to take everything apart a third time um, because the... First time I put it together by hand, I was like looking at the instructions and I'm like, well, they didn't give me a lot of washers. This is the heavy duty version. Maybe there's, you know, it's not missing hardware. Uh, let's just check it out. Well, that wasn't the case and it did need all the washers there. So um, we were missing some out of the kit. Um, you know, it is what it is. We were missing some, um, about half of them. So I went to the hardware store, picked those up. Um, this guy right here should be enough. Obviously this bolt can go in like so. So when it had this much play on it, it was buttoned up against here and it wouldn't come out. So we have it a little bit better. So I think we're going to be good enough with this guy. Uh, the reason being that the length is also an issue. We're going to have to test this out because if this bolt is too far out, when this whole thing goes up, this whole bracket gets pushed back and hitting this. Um, the only thing I could foresee being the problem would be that this bracket was on backwards, but this, it's not. Um, on the driver's side is where this bracket kind of bolts up. And then this being the passenger side, uh, and these bolts are offset. So if they were over here, this whole thing would be kicked out a little bit more like this. And that whole thing looks about straight up and down to me. So, um, pretty confident that's done the correct way. Let's go ahead and see. That's all nice and tightened up. Let's see how it works. And we are, we missed the bolt quite a bit, so we are good there. And then, it's like we are a little tight here because it just seemed like it was binding up a little bit. So some of these bolts might need to be loosened up a little. Uh, we do need to line up that circle there. Have to tighten it all the way i mean you get the point for right now so overall looking good so really what's going on here now is um the second that i put crank this guy up with one washer in between um it's like this little built-in washer that they weld on on both sides it starts to like rip off the powder coat uh, so what i'm doing is i'm trying to take it all apart and everything up here which was probably not the best idea because now the jack that weighs a little bit is making that bracket push down scratch the hell out of that scratch that uh, all that stuff's here because uh, the jack fell into my truck and took a little bit of paint off and I'm gonna put all this stuff uh, back together and see if I can make something work so where I'm not tearing off the powder coat on this thing every single time I lift it up and down because um, already as you can tell, I'm bummed out. I don't even have a dirt bike on it yet. We fixed it for the most part, right? Um, 
Only issue I have now is that, you know, it's not touching the nylon here on either one of these. So I just need to get longer, um, longer bolts for it. But that solved my problem by putting two of these guys and stacking them in there. Um, and I did that as well down there too. Yeah. So now it goes all the way down. So my fix was to get the longer bolts because the four inch bolts were having issues with the bolts just barely not being long enough by just a couple of threads. So I'm gonna tighten these guys on and cut the remaining part off. Um, the hardware store only had four, like I had before it was a four inch bolt or this is a five inch, so uh, we did that. As you can tell, it actually kind of works better because now we got the smooth section of the bolt. So this part that everything kind of has to swivel on um, all the way up to here, which is actually pretty awesome. So now everything, including this piece is gonna be able to work a lot better so I, I do like that I did this and I might even consider doing that up here I'm gonna just wait a little bit before I cut these off on my five inch bolts So we just finished up the video of me just kind of driving down the road with uh, the dirt bike on there. So that's actually the first time that the dirt bike and the truck have been on the road with the hitch actually moving. And I took the bike off. So uh, we're going to have to find a different fix for that. Hey guys, I uh, just want to end the video with this. Um, I want to show you their website right here and show you what I found. I think it's a little bit interesting, but hey, whatever. And I'm going to get that thing going. Uh, pointing at the Moto Jack rack behind me. I'm going to get it put together and, um, you know, I'm going to get the things fixed and I'll, I'll give you a little follow up video. Also, if anybody, you know, like Andy from Moto Jack, if he reaches out, you know, has any input, I'm going to definitely say that in there too on how to, so to speak, fix it. But from the info I just found on here, or, or I guess pictures, um, maybe it's not broken and maybe I had less problems than I thought I did. So we'll see. I'll show you right now. So I bought the HD version right here. And it shows you down in the description. You can go to their website, but it's thicker and it 450 pounds, blah, blah, blah. But here's the HD version. There's the washers on the outside, right? Which is unique. Because this is supposed to be the HD in the photo, which I don't think it is. Uh, reason I say that is, so let's back up. And let's jump back in. Uh, the Patriot Edition I got. Looks like they are putting the HD version in here. Because we got the thicker bars. At least that's what it appears to be. We got no washers. We also got the little missing uh, paint right here. So that's even the same. Um, yeah, so we got, we got kind of the whole same setup exactly right here that I have. And 
I think there's something to learn from that. So if I would have got the correct instructions, maybe just the wrong papers were in there. Uh, washers weren't needed here. And I'm gonna assume it's because these are thicker. And if they want to use the same hardware in this kit, the thicker bars here would make it to where you couldn't run the washers and get the bolt all the way through, you know, the four inch, um, and leave enough thread on it that, you know, makes sense. So uh, anyway, so that's a little bit about what I learned. So maybe there's not necessarily anything wrong. Um, you know, again, it's personal preference, right? I didn't think it was right by scraping the paint off and like it felt way too tight, especially when I could turn the washers and stuff like I knew that those bolts weren't super tight and cinched down to the point where it was binding up because I cranked on something too much. Um, but hey, it is what it is. I just want to show you guys that, that, you know, like they're showing you, like this is what you're getting. And, um, you know, like you're putting a dirt bike rack on it. Like it, it's got cool colors on it, but it's, you know, it's not something that can't get scratched up because it's going to get scratched up. You're putting pegs and dirt bikes and tie downs and all kinds of stuff on it. It's not going to always look pretty. So whatever. The only thing that, I, again, that I did have the issue with, um, that would be my complaint, I guess, at the end is this little plastic piece that just fell off. Ah, whatever, you know, but that's kind of my review and I don't want to drag this whole thing on, but I definitely think that, um, you know, me being as picky as possible, um, kind of shows you something that if you're not as picky as me, you're just going to go over here and buy it, get your free shipping, get it. It's going to be way better than anything else putting it on the back of a vehicle and you're gonna be happy. So, you know, whatever. Maybe I should've just dealt with it. Now I'm second guessing myself. So I did a whole video based on it, but hey, I didn't know that I was gonna run into the problems that I did. And that's just who I am, right? I always think outside the box, like how can I fix it? How can I make it better? How can I make this thing a lot more smooth? Um, so I'll play with it, I'll let you know what I found and um, we'll go from there. But see you next time guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, um, you know, seeing the dirt bike, seeing the truck a little bit. And I'll get some more footage with both of those things in some uh, upcoming videos. And um, that is it. I'll see you guys later.